Reading the Riot Act is an idiomatic expression with its origins in English law and history. The phrase is used to convey the idea of delivering a stern warning or reprimand to a person or a group of individuals who are misbehaving or behaving in a disorderly and unruly manner. To understand the phrase fully, it's important to explore its historical and legal context. The expression read the Riot Act can be traced back to the Riot Act of 1714, an English statute enacted during the reign of Queen Anne. The Riot Act was designed to address and control civil disturbances and unruly gatherings. In essence, it granted authorities the power to disperse unruly crowds by reading a specific proclamation, known as the Riot Act, aloud. The proclamation specified the unlawful nature of the assembly and warned those gathered that if they did not immediately disperse, they would face severe penalties, including arrest and potentially even the use of force. Reading the Riot Act was a formal and legally required step before taking such actions. Over time, the phrase read the Riot Act took on a figurative meaning. It came to represent any situation in which someone is given a stern warning or rebuke, often with the implication that they must change their behavior or face consequences. It is used to convey a sense of seriousness and urgency when dealing with individuals or groups who are behaving disruptively, defiantly, or inappropriately. In contemporary usage, reading the Riot Act can occur in various contexts. For example, a parent married the Riot Act to a misbehaving child, emphasizing the need for better behavior. A boss might read the Riot Act to an employee who consistently underperforms or violates workplace rules. In politics, leaders marry the Riot Act to members of their own party, who are not following the party's principles or objectives. The phrase also has broader societal applications. When a government or authority confronts a situation of civil unrest or widespread public discontent, they might metaphorically read the Riot Act to the population by issuing stern warnings or imposing curfews, emphasizing the need for order and compliance with the law. In summary, reading the Riot Act is an idiomatic expression that originates from English law and history. It originally referred to the formal reading of a proclamation to disperse unruly crowds during civil disturbances. Today, the phrase is used figuratively to describe situations where individuals or groups are given a stern warning or rebuke, often with the implication that they must change their behavior or face consequences. It signifies the seriousness and urgency of addressing disruptive or disorderly conduct in various contexts, from parenting to workplace management to public governance.